To find our capital market instruments, you want to go to HTTP finance.yahoo.com. This is my favorite site to look up stocks and bonds, mainly because it is a fairly easy site to use. It's free, which makes it a really nice site to use. And in order to look at stocks, all you need to know is a corporate name. You don't need to know corporate symbols. Once the page is loaded, you'll be able to go through the screen. So let's let the page load. The page is now loaded. Go have your, scroll, have your cursor on investing. Scroll down to bonds and let's get going on our capital market instruments. Your first bond is a treasury bond. We're going to bond screener on the left hand side of your screen. Click on that. On the screen you're going to select treasury. I'm going to put a maturity range, have at least be one year old, and a coupon range so I just don't see every treasury bond out there. Click on find bonds and here's a list of treasury bonds. I'm going to choose one click on it. For the information you need to record, you need to record the price, the coupon rate, maturity. 9,000 bonds are available. They sell in $1,000 increments. I can buy $9 million worth of this treasury bond. Again, pick your investor and you need to trade this through a broker. Schwab, Merrill Lynch, E-Trade, Ameritrade, um, Scott Trade. Now let's go through bond screener again and look at our agency bonds. Agencies are listed under corporate bonds, so click on corporate, and under corporate bonds, anything that says federal, federal home loan banks, federal national mortgage association, I'll go to the next page, there's a couple of federal home loan banks here, federal national mortgage association, I haven't found one yet, well, federal home loan mortgage corporation is again an agency of the federal government. Usually anything with federal its name, well, Federal Express is an exception, but you would recognize that as being a corporate name and not a government name. But these are all federal banks. Federal Farm Credit Bank is also an agency of the federal government. Another federal home loan banks, they seem to be issuing a lot of securities. This is a secondary market again. So again, you're going to be buying this through a broker. Find one you want to buy. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Again, you're going to record the price, coupon rate, maturity. I could buy $25,000 worth of this bond. Going back to bond screener, we now want to look at our municipal bonds. I would like you to buy a municipal on the st for the state you live in because that's how you get your tax exemption. Again, if you want to go ahead and put a coupon rate in there and a maturity range, you can do that. Click on find bonds again and it came up with one bond. I think it's because of what they said. So I could buy this bond, maybe if I make a, just say, Municipals, Colorado, and just look at all of them, I'll probably have a much longer list. Here is a longer list of Colorado bonds. So I can click on any of them. I'm going to buy a Repaho County School District bond funding for the schools. This is the price, coupon rate, maturity date. Again, I can buy 140 of them or $140,000 worth of these bonds. Next, you need to buy a mortgage bond again. Again, if you did a federal home loan bank, you could use the same federal home loan bank or pick another one. Again, you need to record the price of the bond, the coupon rate, maturity date, and I can buy 10 of these bonds or 10000 Again, buying all these bonds in the secondary market through a broker. Final bond is a corporate bond. Again, I'm going to go ahead and put a maturity range in this because there's a whole bunch of corporate bonds out there for sale in, in the bond market and a coupon range. And then I can pick, click on any of these corporations and buy any of these bonds. So I look at them and I'm going to go ahead and buy this bond. Again, I'll put the name of the bond down, the price, coupon rate, maturity date, I can buy $100,000 worth of these bonds. You are now finished with your bonds. Click on Finance Home up here at the top of the page. It will bring you back so that you can find your corporate stock. Again, as I said, you do not need to know the symbol of the stock. I'm going to buy Google. I don't know its symbol. I do know its symbol, but let's say I don't. I type in the name of the company. 
say get quotes, it will go ahead and give me the name of the company, the symbol, which I'm going to write down, and the price. Tell me how many shares you want to buy. There's no maturity. However, you do need to use a broker, Ameritrade, Scott Trade, Fidelity, to do this transaction. You are finished project one. Congratulations. Money market and capital market securities. We are going to work on project one, trying to find financial information about money market and capital market instruments. Let's first talk about money market instruments. Money market instruments are short term debt instruments to help the government, individuals and firms raise money for the short term needs. The government raises money for short term purposes through issuing treasury bills through the Federal Reserve. These are considered risk of securities. If you need a risk of security for overnight, you go to a bank and purchase a repurchase agreement. If an, it, a, an investor has some short-term cash that they want to earn higher rates of return, they can go to a bank and purchase a negotiable certificate of deposit. To help banks trade their extra deposits and get deposits to banks that have large loan demands, federal funds are transactions between banks to switch cash. Then bankers' acceptances facilitate international trade so that central banks get involved, can manipulate currency rates, and help make sure imports and exports work properly. Commercial paper allows Fortune 500 companies, large corporations with high credit ratings, to raise short-term cash in the money market. Now let's talk about the capital market. Again, the government, individuals, and firms need to raise long-term cash for long-term projects or to build factories, build roads, etc. So the federal government issues treasury bonds and notes. There are also agencies to help facilitate mortgage transactions and other agencies of the federal government that issue bonds. Municipal bonds allow states and localities to find long-term debt for their long-term needs, building schools, building their roads. Mortgage bonds are issued to help individuals pay for real estate. Corporate bonds, again, allow high credit rating corporations to raise long-term funds in the capital market to so that they can purchase long-term capital. Corporate stock is to help facilitate shareholder purchases of corporate assets. Now let's go to the internet and find those securities. 